This is section 10.5, logarithmic functions. So we've, we've explored exponential functions in the last section, and so it makes sense to do logarithmic because those are inverses of each other. Um, y equals log base a of x, that is this right here, means a to the y equals x. So a logarithm is just a shortcut. It's about exponential, all right? And so log form means you have log of base of the argument equals the exponent. Exponential form, same pieces, base to exponent equals argument. So here's some ex, uh, examples of that. So exponential form would be three squared equals nine. The base is three, exponent two, argument is 9. Log base 3 of 9 equals 2. So you see 4 to the negative third equals 1 over 64. Log base 4 of 1 over 64 equals negative 3. Exponents always over here. So let's look at this picture. It talks, it shows you f of x equals 2 to the x. That's an exponential function log base 2 of x over here. Well, remember that inverses have to be symmetrical about y equals x. So these are definitely inverses and you can see that. You need to remember that you cannot take the log of 0 or a negative number. So if you try that on the calculator, you would get an error. And you need to remember that for equations because if you get something that would mean you were taking the log of a negative number. We'll discard that as a solution. Here are some properties of logs. Log base a of 1 equals 0. Log base a of a equals 1. Remember your exponents over here, so a to the 0 power is 1. That makes sense. a to the first power equals a. Product rule says if you have two individual logs with the same base, you can write them as a single log of a product, log base a of m times n. If you have two separate logs subtracted and the bases are the same, you can write it as a single log of a quotient. The power rule says log base a of m to the r the power can come to the front, and that gets rid of that being up in the exponent part, can come to the front. The change of base formula. When we want to do something on the calculator, we, can't, we don't have a base 5 key. On your calculator, your log key has a base of 10. But if you needed to find log base 5 of 63, we don't have a base 5 key. So the formula says take the log of the argument and divide it by the log of the base. So we would do log of 63 divided by log of 5. Here I've shown you how to do that on the calculator and the exact keys that you hit are listed there. Solving log equations. The key to solving log equations is to change them to exponential. So if this is our original problem, log base 4 of x equals 5 over 2, switch it to exponential. Remember, this is your base, this is your exponent. So 4 to the 5 halves equals x. You can do 4 to the 5 halves. That square root of 4 is 2, 2 to the 5th is 32, or you could do it on your calculator. In this equation, before we change it to exponential, we need to try to write it as a single log. Remember, if we're subtracting, we can write it as a quotient. So this is log base 2 of x over x minus 1. Now change it to exponential. Base to exponent. 2 to the first equals x over x minus 1. Multiply both sides by x minus 1. So if I do that here and here, I've now got 2 times that equals x because these cancel out. All right, so 2x minus 2 equals x. Subtract 2x, that gives you a negative x here equals negative 2. Divide by negative 1, you get 2 equals x. All right, let me.
let's try this one. We want to combine those into a single log, and that means we'll have log of this product, these two. We have an understood base of 10. So that's the log of x squared minus 3x. Understood base of 10. So when I switch it to exponential, 10 to the first equals x squared minus 3x. That then I'm going to subtract the 10. That gives me x squared minus 3x minus 10. Factor that, factors nicely to x minus 5, x plus 2. That gives me x equals 5 and x equals negative 2. Let's look back in our original. We're taking the log of x. If I plug in negative 2, I would be taking the log of a negative number. I can't do that, so I discard that one, and my only solution is x equals 5. Okay, So that's solving log equations. For exponential equations, we did some in the previous chapter where we made sure the bases were the same, and we only had problems in which that worked. But we're going to encounter some where we can't make them be the same bases. So we're going to use two rules ln of u to the r is equal to r ln u. That's that power rule, and ln is a, log, a natural log. Or ln of e to the u is equal to u. The ln and e cancel each other out. All right, so let's try that. This one, 3 to the x equals 5. We can't make that 5 be a power of 3 a with 3 as a base. So what we do is take the natural log of both sides. So I've got ln of 3 to the x equals ln 5. This is just a number. ln 5, if we did it on the calculator, it's a number. So that power rule, the one right above this guy, says, OK, that x can come over here. And we need that to happen. We cannot solve for that x when it's up in the air. So x ln 3 equals ln 5 divide both sides by this ln3. So if I do that here, ln3 and ln3. So x equals, let me get rid of that, x equals ln5 over ln3. You can do that on your calculator. And if we bring that up, so I hit ln5, close parentheses, divided by ln3 close parentheses, enter. So approximate, this is exact. Approximate is 1.465. This is exact. If you are asked for an exact answer, you leave it with the ln there, ln in your answer. But approximate is here. All right, this one. 5e to the 0.01x equals 9. Okay, we want to isolate the exponential expression. In other words, the 5 is not being raised to that, only the e. So we divide both sides by 5, and we have e to the 0.01x equals 9 over 5. Take the ln of both sides. ln and e cancel out. That's the other rule. So we have 0.01x equals ln of 9 fifths. Divide both sides by 0.01. So this is your exact answer. If you do this calculation on your calculator, be sure you do this first and then divide by 0.01. Um, then you get the approximate answer. Okay, So I think that's going to get us started on log solving log and exponential equations and looking at log functions. Let's look at our problems. All right, number one says write in logarithmic form. And I have put both forms up here for you. So keep that in mind as you're going between forms. This is your log form. This is your exponential form. So 5 to the fourth equals 625 changes to log base 5 of 625 equals 4. So you're putting those two items right here. I've color coded that for you. Number two is the same way. We are converting to a log equation. 5 to the negative 3 equals 1 over 125. Log base 5 of 1 over 125 equals negative 3. OK, 
convert to exponential? Well, there's an understood base here of 10. So 10 to the negative 4 equals this. So the 10 to the negative 4 is going in the box. Evaluate the log without using a calculator. And so what it's asking you, 3 to what power, base to exponent, 3 to what power equals 27? That answer would be 3. Log base 4 of 1 over 256. So that's saying 4 to what power is going to give me 1 over 256? Remember when we see fractions like that over here? We know that's going to be a negative number. And 4 to the 4th would be 256. So 4 to the negative 4 would give us this. ln of e to the 5th. So the answer of that, remember ln of e to the x equals x, so our answer would be 5. All right. Log base 5 of 2k. Remember this is a product, so if we're going to write this as a sum or difference, we're going to make this a sum because a product comes back to a sum if you're expanding. So this is log base 5 of 2 plus log base 5 of k. Use natural logs to evaluate the log to the nearest thousandth. Log base 8 of 10, we're going to use the change of base formula. Log of 10 over the log of 8. Do that on the calculator and you get this. It says round to the nearest thousandth. So that would be 1.107. All right, number 9, log base 4 of 5x minus 3 equals 2. Changes to exponential, so you have 4 squared, 4 to the second equals 5x minus 3. So that's 16 equals that. Add 3, so 19 equals 5x, so 19 over 5 equals x. solving this log equation. All right, so we have log base 2. These were added, so we're going to make this a product. And then we're going to multiply these out. x squared plus 10x plus 21. Then we're going to switch it to exponential. And so that becomes 2 to the fifth equals this. 2 to the fifth is 32. We'll subtract that over there. So x squared plus 10x minus 11. And we factor that. We get x plus 11, x minus 1. So x is negative 11, x is positive 1. But we cannot plug in negative 11 to either of those because you would be taking the log of a negative value in the parentheses. So we only have x equals 1. Number 11. Here we have 5 to the x equals 10. So we're going to take the ln of both sides. When we do that, we have ln of 5 to the x equals ln 10. Use the power rule. x comes to the front. We then divide both sides by ln 5. So x is equal to ln 10 over ln 5. We do that in the calculator and we get the pro approximate um, of 1.430 and a bunch of decimals. It says four decimal places, so we'll round it to this. Number 12, e to the x minus 2 equals 15. You again take the ln both sides. The e and the ln are gone here. x minus 2 equals ln of 15. Add 2 to the other side. So in your calculator, you do ln of 15 and you add 2. You get 4.7081. Find the domain of this one. Since you cannot take the, the natural log of a negative, then this thing has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x squared minus 16 is greater than or equal to actually Actually, I'm saying that wrong. It can't be equal to 0 either. So we're going to erase that equals there.
I don't know why I had those there. So we have x squared minus 16 has to be greater than 0. Um, so x squared has to be greater than 16. x has to be greater than 4 or less than negative 4. So that's what happens there. So we have that answer in 13. And I think that is the end of our problems for um, section 10.5.